What's up everyone and welcome to this week's instructional video. My name is Christian from Prime Health Management and for this video I'm going to demonstrate how to get in a total body workout just by using the single hand attachment that you can put on your cable tower machine. Check it out. The first exercise in this circuit is going to be a pressing movement. This is the single arm chest press and targets, you guessed it, the chest. I'm using a staggered stance which makes the movement slightly harder because you'll be slightly off balance, forcing you to engage your core muscles to stabilize. Turn your palm towards your body as shown in this clip to help engage more of your tricep muscle. Next we're going to perform a single arm squat to row. I favor this exercise a lot because you get to kill two birds with one stone with the squat, which obviously hits your lower body, and then the row, which targets your back muscles. If you want to make the exercise a little more challenging, I would suggest holding onto a dumbbell as you go through the movement. Next up needs no introduction, it's the bicep curl. For purposes of this particular exercise, make sure you're fully lengthening your arm to get the full stretch out of the bicep muscles. Hold for a second at the top of the movement. The second variation shown is I'm curling the handle across my body, which adds a little bit of a variation to the movement. You've all seen me perform this next one, and for good reason. The Cable Tower Pal-Off Press is one of my favorites for developing core strength without placing a ton of stress on your lumbar spine. Do your best to not pivot your hips, as well as to not let the weight pull your arms towards the Cable Tower. To make this movement harder, get yourself into a staggered stance shown here, and be sure to stay on your rear foot's toe. For the second circuit, we're going to kick it off with a kneeling overhead single arm pull down. Great exercise to target the lat muscles as well as the biceps. Being in a kneeling position also allows you to stretch out your hip flexors, which may be tight from all that sitting you're doing. For a slightly different variation, you can always turn your elbow out to the side as you pull down, resulting in better lat activation. Just like when we incorporated a lower body movement with an upper body movement in the first circuit, we're going to do something similar here. This time I'm pairing a split squat with an overhead press. Balance will be key here, so remember to brace your abs nice and tight and don't slam your knee into the ground while going through the movement. Now, since we performed a bicep exercise in the first circuit, it's time for a tricep exercise. The tricep kickback, not just for girls anymore, is an amazing movement that really does a good job of targeting and isolating the tricep muscles. Be sure to hold and squeeze your tricep for a second when your arm is fully extended. Last but not least, I'm going to show you a different pal-off press variation. This one is called the pal-off twist. Still hitting the core while working on anti-rotation, the key here is to really focus on not swiveling your hips. Keep your arms straight and slowly let them get pulled towards the tower, then bring them back to the starting point. You'll notice here in the second clip how not to perform this movement. Keep those hips stable and keep them pointing forward. All right guys, thank you so much for tuning in for this week's video. I hope that you start to incorporate some of these exercises I highlighted into your regular workout routine. Also, if you'd like to get Prime Health Management incorporated within your luxury fitness center, or corporate office building, please drop us an email at primehealthmanagement at gmail.com and I'll be sure to get back to you. Thanks guys, we'll see you next week.